elimination winner. Six to five right now and five alter, also an elimination winner. So the two elimination winners vying for favoritism here, the others in double figures. For this Breeders' Crown Final, three-year-old Philly Trot, $650,000 presented by Lipfeld Cats Breeding Partnership. They're on gate. Here they come. And the Phillies are off and uh, trotting. It's Alter shooting out of there. Iteration from the outside with Hercules, uh, early speed. Bella Bellini's put in play. Amazon Duhara on the rail, four across the track. James McDonald guns Amazon Duhara. Bella Bellini on the outside, and Alter is three deep and driving, and four wide now. Three wide is Iteration, fourth and gaining. Uh, Shirley Goodness settles in fifth past the quarter. Hercules is sixth, followed by Chablis, seventh. Then comes Anoka, Hanover, and Splash, Blue Chip, and You Auto Dream. 28 opens it up here. Two wide across the back stretch. They go. Alter takes over on a break. Iteration, iteration broke. Bell Bella Bellini now pockets up here behind Alter. The elimination winners, 1-2. Amazon Duhara is trotting in third. It's Shirley Goodness fourth, a loose fourth at this point. Hercules a fifth on the inside. Shooting a gap is Splash Blue Chip, then Chablis on the outside with Anoka Hanover and Yu Auto Dream. Still on a gallop. Iteration, the half 56 and 428 4 rating. Alter in front onto the far turn. Stocked by Bella Bellini. Perfect trip so far. Amazon Duhara on the inside. Third, Hercules inches up uncovered. Fourth on the outside. That's a toe for Chablis. Following that cover, now fifth. A shuffle for Shirley Goodness and Splash Blue Chip to the outside. Anoka Hanover is a third over right now. You Auto Dream has to pass the pack here as they pass three quarters. And it's Alter in front there. Bella Bellini is poised from the pocket spot, 125 and 4. A well-rated Alter, the one to gun down. Bella Bellini and uh, Alter broke. Alter went off stride and off the course. So that leaves it all to Bella Bellini. Hercules is full out. Late trot from Anoka Hanover now into second. But it's Bella Bellini who locks it down in the Breeders' Crown. Dexter Dunn and Bella Bellini. Bella Bellini takes it over Anoka Hanover. Then it was close. Either Shirley Goodness, maybe Splash Blue Chip in that photo, 153. Judges have posted three Bella Bellini, the unofficial winners, six Anoka Hanover second, photo for show 153. Number seven, Splash Blue Chip was third, ten, Herculisa, four, three, six, seven, ten. Number three, Bella Bellini, three year old Bay Philly by bar hopping out of Bella Dolce by Cadabra, bred in Florida by the owner David McDuffie of Delray Beach, Florida.
That's two on the card today for trainer Nifty Norman. His seventh Breeders' Crown Trophy, two on the card for Dexter Dunn. At his second Breeders' Crown this weekend, his eighth career Breeders' Crown. Tenth win in 2021, career victory number 10, 153 today for the Hamiltonian Oaks champion and now Breeders' Crown champion and also Pennsylvania Sire Stakes champion, Bella Bellini. Division leader Bella Bellini in 153, winning the Breeders' Crown final. Presented by Lipfeld Cats Breeding Partnership reports to the Diamond Creek Winner's Circle. Mr. Marvin Katz, who did so much great work with the organization of the Katz Lipfeld Breeding Partnership Charity Challenge, raising so much money for great causes in the Winner's Circle with Bella Bellini. Congratulations. To the winning connections, Dexter Dunn, Nifty Norman, and David McDuffie, Delray Beach, Florida. And what a year for Mr. McDuffie. And it's five twenty, three dollars and two forty. It's official. The six Anoka Hanover second, and it looks like fifteen forty, eleven forty, and the seven Splash Blue Chip eight eighty. The exact is 76.80, trifecta. Paid $540.40. And Bella Bellini has earned an invitation to the TVG final. So we hope to see her there. Nifty Norman won this division in 2013 with Be a Magician en route to Horse of the Year honors. Post time is set for race 8, 327, no changes. Exacta trifecta, dime superfecta, 20 cent pick 6, low 15% takeout, presented by Purple Haze Stables. Wanda Policini's Purple Haze Stables, Breeders' Crown Final, three-year-old Colton Gelding Trot, $650,000. In just a few moments, Gabe Pruitt with the winning connections. And congratulations to the winning caretaker. It's Stephanie Petherick. The pick three eighty one ten, superfecta one hundred fifty three oh seven.
owner and breeder, Dave McDuffie. Dexter, we'll begin with you. Now, this filly has raced off the pace a lot throughout her career. Looked like uh, your plan today was to force the issue early and get her as close uh, into the early action as possible. Yeah, like she's always been so good off a of helmet, Gabe. And um, just looking at that race, like I know I've driven Ultra as well, and she can run some good miles. And I just didn't want to get too far away from her if she was on a game. So, um, you know, we pushed out a little bit early and, and got a perfect trip after that. And take us through what happened to the stretch drive. Obviously, Alter made a break in stride. It looked like your filly got just a bit rough gated for a moment. Yeah, well, I was waiting and waiting until I, I cut pulled off the helmet and, um, you know, uh, she tried to go a little too fast and put a bit of a step in the air and I just grabbed her up and then after that I didn't let her go. I just let her go to the line under a good hold and, uh, you know, Nifty and the team, uh, she, she's been had a great year, but the last two weeks she's never felt better. So uh, credit to the team and... Uh, getting her as sharp as she is at the end of the year. And she's been super, rolled it back a little bit further to the top of the stretch. Even off that trip, you had to be very confident. I was full of confidence. She, she's, um, she's so fast when you get her off the helmet, and, and she still had plenty of, you know, she was on the bit feeling good. So, yeah, she was, um, I was confident, for sure. Thanks so much, Dexter. Good luck the rest of the day. Dave Thanks. will bring you, uh, you in here as well. Of course, owner and breeder of Velvet Lady. This has to feel so special to get the job done. I know it always does, but with a homebred as well. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I've always... Uh, been uh, I'm not a big breeder but uh, when I do get one that uh, can reach this far it's a special feeling that's for sure yeah and talk to us about you know the difference in this filly at the ages of two and three she's been such a superstar here's a sophomore uh, Nella Sports newest millionaire yeah it's uh, incredible I mean uh, it'll probably uh, it's probably great for the sport be an awful lot of people that will go be uh, be uh, happy going forward with horses that maybe w weren't quite as good as they thought they could be at two, but at three, um, this is hope for everybody. It's been a while since I've seen this type of herd around uh, from two to three. It's it's, it's incredible. Uh, you've had so many great trotting mares over the years. Be a magician, of course, comes to mind. I know this filly's only three. It's hard to compare, but uh, she's really elevating herself uh, in that uh, very top class as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, it's a piece of Dolce line, and uh, I've uh, had a lot of luck with it all the way along, and uh, um, she's frosting on the cake. All right, congratulations, Dave. Dave McDuffie, the owner and breeder, the Breeders' Crown Champion, Bella Lady.